It is the right of every member of this House to speak on these bills, Leader of the House. Well, if you believe in socialism. Well, it's not only socialism. It's a dictatorship when you ca come in here and you say, just select one or two to speak on it. You're saying, the Leader of the House is effectively saying that any member here doesn't deserve the right to speak, Mr Speaker. Now this is, Mr Speaker, this is what you call, this is what you call when you have a guillotine and having to extend the hours of Parliament, Mr Speaker. So they're extending the Parliament again. Now, colleagues will recall, only three hours ago... It's gone. I, it's gone. Mr Speaker, members will recall, only three hours ago, I warned and I said we're on a slippery slope to extending the standing orders because the, the uh, family-friendly hours was out the window. Little did I know, little did I know with the sessional orders, it would only be three hours later and we'd be extending the sessional orders to debate. Now, Mr Speaker... No, no, they can't Mr. claim overtime. Mr Speaker, <laughs> Mr Speaker, they don't have to... They don't have to uh, extend the sessional orders for tonight. They can finish at six o'clock for the automatic adjournment and we'll come back when Parliament sits next time and can complete the debate on the vegetation management, Mr Speaker. <coughs> That's what they did with this, uh, the sessional orders. They said if we're not finished at six o'clock, we adjourn on a Thursday what night. And do you remember that big speech they gave? Yeah. It's to allow the regional members of parliament to go home to book flights. Yeah. How much money now has the government cost Queenslanders for flights that have been booked tonight because of these family friendly hours? Is this, is this what we're doing with the family friendly hours, Mr. Speaker? It doesn't make uh, sense. This member, government is a rabble. Member for Kiwana. It is a rabble. Member for Kiwana. You are being disorderly in the House. You will not tear items up and throw them to the floor of the chamber. I warn you under standing orders. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, this has turned into a rabble and a circus of a government. If they're going to do this like they did with the budget week uh, sessional orders earlier today, with this on a Thursday night, they might as well, Mr Speaker, throw out the family-friendly hour sessional orders and just return to what we had, because then we wouldn't be wasting all the time and all the debate on the silly, silly politics they play. Oh, 